Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am vlogging from Germany. I haven't posted a video in a while because I've been traveling so much. I came back from a trip to California and it was basically like two weeks of family and fun and just family time. And then we just rolled out of town for VidCon and it's just been a whirlwind ever since. I think I've been traveling now straight for the last like three weeks. I spent like a week in California getting ready for VidCon and doing VidCon with our company and taking care of our clients and stuff like that. And um, right after that we flew to Spain. We, were, we spent actually a day in London and then we flew to Spain to Mallorca. We spent about a eight nights I think in Mallorca, about four nights in Maglov and then another like four nights in in uh, Port Soler. And then we flew to Cologne to go to Gamescom and Gamescom is an amazing gaming conference. It's like one of the biggest, I think it is, it might be the biggest in the world. Today I wanted to just talk about stuff that I bring with me on my trips because a lot of people ask me like what I bring makeup wise and stuff when I'm doing all this traveling. And the truth is I've never been able to condense my makeup down to a small bag even though my day to day makeup just uses a couple products. I feel like I need to bring a lot of things with me. So I put like, I have eyeshadows, so I got this little tiny eyeshadow kit that has a couple of little essentials. I have a contour kit that's like a powder contour, and I have a liquid contour from CoverFX. And these contour kits are my favorite, so I couldn't leave without it, even though I don't contour every day. I have this little bag for toiletries, some of my stuff is still in the bathroom, like my face wash, little shampoos, conditioners, I put contact lenses in here, I also put tampons in here, I got these new tampons that are like without applicators, so they're very small, so you could fit a lot of them in without having to take up a load of space, so you get more room out of, you know, everything for other products, so you get more room for all your other products in here by reducing things to things like this, and having your, like, you know, face lotion be in little bags like that. So this is what I do for like my little toiletries and I could basically fit everything except my toothbrushes in here. For makeup makeup, I have a lot of concealers because I have pretty bad acne and I like changing my concealers up. Some days I like a like more like intense concealer, something with more coverage and then other days I just want to wear like a BB cream. I also have a sunscreen in here. This is like SPF 45 and this is all natural. It's great under makeup and it won't make you break out. Um, I have this BB cream that I got from actually a friend and it is by Maybelline and it's one of my favorites. It has great coverage and it's just really lightweight. I also have this brand new Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour hydrating foundation. It really is not that hydrating but for somebody like me who has ultra dry skin, I don't really expect the world out of foundations but this has great coverage so that's great. What I usually do is do my BB cream and then I'll put a foundation like this on like, like heavy coverage areas like here but I stay away from fine lines so it doesn't get stuck in any cracks or anything like that. I also have this Dior BB cream. It's one of my favorites. I could just wear this every day. The other thing is, is the color is a little too dark for me. It's the it's number 003. Um, I also had 002, but I used it up. So this one is one of my favorites. And as I get tanner on this trip, this matches more. I also have this wonderful organic concealer that is really light, but it really works well for covering things up. I used to try to match, but I realized over the time like that I realized over time that using a light concealer actually works a little bit better for me. And then I just use a dark foundation, like a regular foundation over that, and it works really well for covering. Um, I have this awesome little pore professional BB cream type of thing. Um, this was by Benefit, and I could just use this almost as like a, a, like a base for my whole face, and then just do tiny little coverage for my acne whenever I just wanna be really lightweight but minimize the appearance of my pores and get rid of shine. Um, I have these Lauren powders that are really great for just like, I guess, creating more coverage. And I have this little thing that I got from Forever 21 that's like a color corrector. And I really don't use many of the other colors, but I use the yellow, because my skin is yellow, and I can never find yellow foundation, so I use a little bit of this um, around my eyes and over my eyes and like in highlight areas to kind of just keep with my natural skin tone, and um, yeah, that's really it. I also have some lipsticks, so I have a red and a pink, because you can never go wrong with red. Red is always great to have, and a pink is always good to have too, because it's just simple and easy. I have a very natural looking pink, this is by Tarte and Exposed, it's so used up, it's on its last, last use. And I have this lip gloss, but it's an it's elixir, I forgot the brand, um, it's an elixir pumping gloss, it's all natural, and it makes your lips look fuller. Another like simple lipstick that's almost like a chapstick is this Mineral Fusion lipstick and it's really lightweight. I mean, you barely could see it when it's on, it just has a nice little shine. And I bring another um, primer just in case I want to have like something that's 
a little bit more protective. So this one is Cover FX. It's um, mattifying, but it's also like anti-blemish. So what it does is it has like salicylic acid, I think, and it helps like prevent your skin from getting breakouts when you have makeup on. So it kind of acts like a shield for the makeup so it doesn't clog your pores. And I have this eyeshadow primer. This is like the must-have. If you're gonna be using eyeshadow, you need a primer, and this one by Urban Decay. I have it in original. This, this is one of my favorites. It keeps your eyeshadow on for hours, and it looks just so much better with this. And for other products, I have my mascara, which is by Urban Decay. It's in Perversion. And I have this nice cream blush. And it's organic by Vapor. I think Vapor also made that lip gloss. But this is one of my favorite blushes because it's so smooth and creamy and my skin, like I said, is very dry, so anything creamy is great for me. So for my brushes, I have this little container that has some brushes in it. I also have a blush brush that I left in my bathroom. But um, for eyeshadows, I have a couple of eyeshadow brushes, some of the same ones. Um, this one is by Orpha, and I have the same exact ones twice, and I use it for light and dark. And then I have this one for light and dark. These are great. This one's good for putting on the eyeshadow and going like to do a little bit more like I guess strategic eyeshadow work. And then this is for blending. You could also use this for foundation. It's a great foundation brush. I have this is like everything for eyes. I have mascara in here. Another one. This one's by Tarte. I have my eyeliner pencil, a chunky pencil. I have a liquid liner. I have a gel type liner. It's like a clay gel liner. I have a brush to apply that liner, and I have another eyeshadow brush that's slightly smaller than this one on both ends. So this has been great. It's really easy for me to travel with this stuff. It doesn't weigh much. I've been able to bring it in carry-ons and not have any trouble. Um, the TC hasn't given me any issues about this. I haven't had to throw anything out, obviously. So it's been great. Um, I definitely recommend all these products. They're amazing. They're my, my essentials. The only one I'm missing is my Andalu BB Cream. It's the brightening BB Cream made with plant stem cells. It's like the most nourishing BB Cream I've ever had and I ran out at the beginning of the trip. That's everything for my makeup. The only other essentials I have are hair extensions and I keep these hair extensions in a plastic bag because it keeps them from getting damaged. It also keeps them shiny and healthy and it takes up much less space. So. What I do is I put my extensions in there by, I take them, I brush it just to make sure they're nice and smooth and they don't have any knots. I roll them up like this and then I fold it really small, stick it in the bottom of the bag and then I take all the air out of the bag and I fold it a couple of times. And you could keep it like this or you could put it like that and it doesn't get any dents or creases in it. The plastic really helps that. Keeps it nice and smooth and you could squeeze it in a tiny little bag even like this. And you would never know that's like 22 inch hair extensions squeezed into a bag. So that's how I travel with my hair extensions. Um, and that's also how I keep them in good condition. I also have hair tools with me. And for my hair tools, I have my Eva NYC blow dryer, which I can't use in Europe because it's a little too powerful and I'm not sure what kind of adapter I need for it. But this is my favorite blow dryer. I'm gonna be using this on my next trip. And I have my curling iron by Irresistible Me in here. I squeezed in just three different uh, barrels and the like electric part. So you plug the barrels into here. So I have three different curling wands in here. So I have a, like, a thin, a medium, and a thick so that I'm able to do like all different kind of curls. So this really fits nicely into this little tiny bag. It didn't come in this bag, but this is great for just carrying a couple of them with me rather than the whole set of eight. So this is all I need for hair, including my brush. So that's everything that I bring with me, beauty-wise, hair-wise, on a trip. Um, I love all these products. They are my favorites. So I will leave some of them in the description so you can see them, but most everything was pretty much explained in the video. So I hope you guys like this video. I can't wait to share my vlogs from my trip to Germany and Mallorca. I have so many recommendations for you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.